Why do you preach Why do you preach your own word or something like that? Why yeah. you preach? Okay, why would you preach it onto a harder so material? Don't say it over it. Even it's a harder material, so the grains are more hard than the other, but therefore it cracks. Okay, so it cracks easier. Fish. Um, so. A couple of things that I want you guys to know. Yesterday we talked about um, the different head types. Okay. Well, what we want to know, the three things that I want you guys to know is you have a counter or a, a pre-drill. Okay, so this is like looking at the edge of a board. And this is saying that there's holes somewhere through here, all the way through. Okay, so you have a pre-drill bit or pre-drill hole. What would this one be? Counter Countersink, right? Guys, quiet. Okay. Who knows? Why would I have a countersink bit? What is that for? So if my screw head, if I had a screw, if I had a screw and it fit in here, you want to have the head of the man or head of the screw flush. Now, when you guys are dealing with countersink or uh, countersink and pre drills, the way that you determine how big your countersink hole is is basically the diameter, the inside diameter of your screw shank. Okay, because as you remember, that a screw has threads on it, right? So what actually holds the material are the threads. So you want to make sure that if this was my screw, that the pre-drill hole is the same size or a little bit smaller than the shank. Because what actually, like I said, what actually holds the screw in place is the threads. Okay? So if I have countersink here, what would this last one be? A bolt. Uh, it's been used for a bolt, but what's what's the name of this? Is that? Not boxing. Boxing. Um, <laughs> It's oh, super counter Super duper. No. Uh, this is a counter a counter bore. Okay? So like when you bore out an engine to get a bigger um, cylinder head, it's a bore. And it's the same thing like you guys said, it would be for a bolt. So since bolts usually don't have a counter sink uh, head to it, you'd end up having this sit down here. And then again, your screws would end up sitting flush. Okay? So, just a couple of quick things. When you have your countersink, okay? Um, Why would you use a bolt to trim? What? Uh, if you have a leg bolt at all, um, or. Anything like that. Um, leg holds are carriage bolts. Okay, so what I want to go through is a quick demonstration. If I had a screw, right? does anyone know what type of wood materials is? Very hard. Very hard. Yes. Oh, oak. Okay. So we have oak. Um, right. So I don't have any pre-drill hole in there. What reason why? Like I said. You want to pre-drill this, so when you're, if you're screwing this in, let's see if it actually works. Okay, so it's going through fairly easy. Okay, so you can see now, now uh, the whole, sh the entire shank part of it, of the screw, is inside the material. But now what ends up happening is we're to this point right here where it starts to bottleneck out. Okay, and actually getting that countersink. And if you keep turning down, there you go. Okay, so I want to try and get that flush and it's still sticking up a little bit. Okay, you can see it actually cracks the material. Some material is hard enough that when you actually drill into this, um, like if you were if you had a nail and you were nailing um, like a common sized nail. If I were to just nail into this closer to the edge, that shank diameter is so large that it's actually going to snap that. So that's why 
you can either pre-drill that, um, which will get rid of that. In order to make this the headset flush, what would we what did we say we would need again? The countersink, right? So there's a couple different ways to do that. I have my countersink uh, or my pre-drill. And when you guys are using this, that couple things, as you notice I backed out a couple times. Why did I end up doing that? Clear the hole. To clear these fluids. So when you have a drill bit, those actual channels that spiral around the shank, those are called the flutes. Okay? So you want to back those out frequently so that as you can see that all that sawdust, it ends up clearing out of that hole. If you leave that down there and just push right down all the way through and have it a tendency to snap the bit, especially in harder materials. So you want to back out frequently, okay? And this is the process that you guys are going to use for attaching your um, the side assemblies to your actual legs because you can't get in there straight and aim for a kick in there plumb. So this is another type, or this is a countersink bit. You can see it's just a simple V. So what all this bit does it makes this countersink on the top. Okay, so I have my pre-drill hole. Right, I'm gonna take this. Okay, and you can see it just countersinks that so that the head of the screw is then gonna sit flush. Okay, the thing with this is you want to be careful that you don't push too far down. Okay. Now, if you guys can see, you should be able to see that hole. If I were to end up putting my screw head in there, it's actually going to sit too far down. So it's actually going to sit down here on the, um, go to the face material instead of flush with it. Okay? So there's that one. Um, the other thing that you guys can do is it that, oh, does anyone know what this is? Yeah, it's just a combination countersink. Okay, so it pre drills a hole and countersinks it all at once. So, same thing. When you're using it back out frequently, okay. And also, if you notice that I didn't, I wasn't going at an angle, I wasn't twisting. Okay, so part of the reason, or part of it, when you're making sure that you, your head of your screw sits flush on your material, is that you're actually going straight down and not at an angle. If I were to drill this at an angle, this is exaggerated, but it gets the point across, okay? And this is my screw right here. It's not gonna end up sitting flush, right? This is the head that's actually touching the material. So you wanna make sure that you're drilling straight so that your head, the head of the nail will sit flush with your material. Also, the reason why we end up drilling straight through, okay, and not at an angle, so when it's in the material, I want to make sure that I'm staying plumb or parallel with that hole that I drilled. And I'm not going to actually twist the drill. Well, what do I end up happening if I were to twist this off the side? You break the bit, right? Okay. So that's a couple of things. Um, these tend to break a lot. If they break, just come and let me know, we'll get you a new one. But some key things to remember when you're counter when you're drilling a countersink um, hole is don't sit there and go like this. You know, it's a high speed fit, so I actually make it go at a higher speed. Back out frequently, and then also don't twist it at all. Um, so that's for hard materials. You can pre-drill into um, softer materials, like for your plywood. There's another technique that we use for just doing a pre-drill when you actually assemble your sides here. Okay, you want to pre-drill that. The other tip that I just wanted to show you guys or share with you is that a lot of times in construction, what type of material do you deal with? Lumber. Plywood or pine, right? Like Douglas fir. So it's a softer material. Here's like a two by six. Oftentimes, you guys will end up getting something where uh, you know you'll try and drill that in, and then you'll end up having some, uh, the screw itself will actually wobble. Okay, so you can either do a pre-drill, or it makes it easier if you actually just take this, tap that in, 
Okay? So whatever screws you have, and then you can just take your drill and screw it in. That way you don't have to deal with the pre-drill, but it sinks it down in there far enough so that it holds by itself. You, can, you don't have to deal with the whole wobbling bit. Okay? So main points that I want you guys to know are pre-drill, countersink, and counter bore. So pretty much you'd be given a profile picture of these and then asked to describe and tell what each one is. Any questions? Okay, go ahead and go to work.